Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1991 movie, The Man in the Moon. So this movie is directed by Robert Mulligan, and in this movie, Maureen Trant and her younger sibling, Danny, share a strong connection, but a local boy, Court Fisher, threatens to throw their bond off balance, and Danny and Court meet first and have a flirtatious friendship, and everything but when he meets Marine he falls hard and begins in a passionate affair with her and they, they try to keep it hidden from Danny but of course she finds out and uh, everything but a heartbreaking accident later reunites the sisters um, this movie is one of my favorite movies of all time I absolutely love the man in the moon it, it uh, features the breakout performance of Reese Witherspoon and you know from this movie she was only 14 years old when this movie came out and she has gone on to become one of the best actresses in Hollywood in fact she is my favorite actress I know there are other actors that are more talented than her and stuff but she's my personal favorite actress I absolutely love her in this movie she just was absolutely amazing at such a young age it, just, it really showed the potential she had and she's gone on to become an Oscar at least an Oscar nominee maybe winner I think she did win for Walk the Line um, but she was great in this movie and she should have gotten an Oscar nomination for Best Actress personally because she was she was just amazing in here um, but it has a really great cast too it has uh, Sam Waterston and um, Tess Harper and both of them are really great character actors that I really like quite a bit um, especially Tess Harper I've seen her in a few other movies and everything but I think both of them are really great character actors and they're both really good in this movie um, and everything and then you got uh, Jason London as Court and he's really good he has great chemistry with both Reese Witherspoon and uh, and um, Emily Warfield, who plays Marine, they, they wor he works really good with both of them, and you can believe their their chemistry on both of them. And you can tell he kind of has feelings for Danny at first, but as soon as he meets Marine, who is closer to his age, because he's like 17 and Danny's 14, and uh, uh, Marine is about the same age as him, maybe maybe 16. Um, but they're the same age and are close to the same age and everything and their their relationship is is really good too like the chemistry between them are all really good and everybody works great together in this movie it's believable that uh, they're a family in this movie that uh, the the parents and the two daughters they, they're believable as this family and it just it works really well um, and I think it's a, a, a a pretty good story it has some really fun moments and stuff some of my favorites are just the the scenes when Danny and uh, Danny and Court are swimming in the little pond and stuff just little fun moments like that are some of my favorites but there's, there's some good heartfelt moments too stuff between Danny and her dad and stuff that it's really good and even though the dad does some things that are kind of bad in the movie he still is written as a really good human character and he has his flaws and he makes his mistakes and everything but he also kind of uh, gets a little bit of a redemption and stuff and I like that too I like how they these feel like a normal everyday people and everything it just it makes the movie work really well and this movie that I've always really loved ever since I saw it for the first time and it just it's a really really entertaining movie um, it, I've always, like I said, I've always been a big fan of uh, movies like this that are just uh, period pieces set in the 50s and small little things with families and coming of age stories and stuff like that. I've always been a big fan of movies like this, and this is easily one of my favorites and everything. I, I love coming of age movies and stuff, especially ones that were done in the late 80s and early 90s they had some of the best ones um, everything this isn't my most favorite coming-of-age movie but it's definitely one of them for sure and it, it's 
it's a lot of fun. So uh, I think that Robert Mulligan did a really great job directing it, and James Newton Howard did the score for this movie. I don't know if this is his first. This I think is one of his early scores. I don't know how long he's been around, but I think it was one of his early scores, and he did a really good job with it. it fit the tone of the movie perfectly and everything and it's crazy like how he's gone off to do such big name movies and stuff and this one just feels so small compared to some of his other scores but I think he did a great job with it and um I think the cinematography is pretty good in here and it just it's a a really good movie it's one that I I never have a hard time watching and everything. Anytime I watch it, I always get enjoyment out of it. It is sad. It does have a really sad ending and stuff with Court falling off the tractor and getting ran over by the lawnmower and dying and stuff. It's really sad and everything, but it 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 has a has a pretty good ending where the two sisters kind of reconnect and everything. And you you want to see them reconnect because they're really close at the beginning of the movie and everything. And I love how like their how their relationship is written and everything it just it's very well done so uh i say i'd give the man in the moon a 10 out of 10 i actually really love this movie and feel like it is uh one of the best coming of age stories of all time and everything i definitely would recommend it if you haven't seen it. if you're you're into smaller dramas that uh that have really good stories and stuff like that this is definitely one that is worth checking out and everything it's a really good movie and everything it's like i said it's a very sad movie but it's a really good one so uh anyway let me know in the comments what you think of the man in the moon and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody